Hello and welcome to this Microsoft Excel video tutorial. In this video, we're going to continue with our single formula series. So we want to learn how to use a single formula to create a dynamic and colored in cell bar chart. So let's get started. Now, if you are new to the channel or you've not joined this channel, please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon to be notified of new videos. So let's do this in a few minutes. Now, we have this small data set. We can see the sales record for the month of January to December, and we have all these products, okay? Now, the very first thing we want to do is we want to actually create a drop in cell C15. I'm going to select the cell and come to the data tab of the ribbon. Now, in the data tools group, I can click on data validation. So click on that, and then we have the data validation dialog box now under the settings tab you want to choose a list under this validation criteria so i'm going to choose a list now in the source just click in the source and then i'm going to grab all these products at the top here so i can actually do control shift right arrow key and then click ok so we can actually see that we have our drop down so we can choose any of the product like furniture we can choose um, sneakers and so on and so forth now the second thing we want to do is we actually want to reference the value selected from cell b15 in cell k1 so in cell k1 i'm going to put in an equal sign and just reference directly the value from cell c15 so control enter now you can see we have sneakers now when i change to let's say um, laptop it automatically changes that's amazing now the next thing we want to do we actually want to reference all this our month in column a so i'm going to come to cell column j equal sign so i'm going to grab everything and control enter now it spill the results down that's amazing cool so we want to write our formula in column k now we can either use the combination of the index match functions or the double x lookup function now the x lookup is more of a newer function excel compared to the old index match function so let's stick with that okay so equal sign i'm going to type in the x lookup now the first argument for the parameter is the lookup value so i want to look up this value i can actually press the pound sign or the arch sign and that's going to give me the spill operator okay okay now this simply means it doesn't matter how taller or how shorter the values in this area is it's going to capture it automatically so I'm going to put in a comma. So for the lookup array, I'm going to look up this list in column A. I'm going to put in a comma. Now for the return array, now I'm going to introduce the second X lookup function inside it. Okay. So X lookup, again, we need to provide the lookup value. Now the lookup value is sitting in cell K1. So I'm just going to click on cell J1, use the right arrow key, put in a comma. And then the lookup array, so we can actually look it up in this array here, put in a comma. And finally, for now, we need to provide the return array. I'm going to grab all this number, okay, and then I can close the double X lookup. Now, we want to close the innermost X lookup and the outermost, okay, and then we can control enter for now. That's amazing. Now, we can see the total sales for the each of the months by the product. Now, when I come here... And I choose, let's say, Smart TV, it dynamically updates, which is quite amazing, okay? Now, don't forget, we are in the single formula series, so we do not have the colored in-cell bar chart yet. Now, let's work on that. So, I'm going to come back to the formula here. Now, I'm going to introduce the amazing let function. So, I'm going to type in let, press the tab key, put in the comma. Now, the first argument of let is the name. So, I actually want to use a name and assign all this value into the name so i'm going to come here i can actually use whatever i want i'm going to call it results now so i'm assigning all this value to the name so i'm going to put in a comma now i'm just going to go to the calculation straight on now the calculation i'm going to use the age stack function now the h stack function requires the array one now i actually want to horizontally stack this first one the results so i'm going to just call this name put in a comma now for the array two i'm going to use the repeat that is the rept function excel so i'm going to type in rept okay now the first argument of the red is the text no so that's going to be inside double quotes and i'm just going to paste what's called a single pipe when i close the double quotes i'm going to put in a comma now how many number of times i want to repeat this text okay now that's going to be based on the result okay so i'm just going to call the result and i can actually divide by 70 because we don't have quite a long bar so divide by 70 80 or whatever now i'm going to close the innermost function the repeat the h stack and then i can close the let formula now all things being equal this should work so let's see the moment of truth now i'm going to control enter to commit into the cell 
That's amazing. Cool. So we can actually see this colored in cell bar chart. Oh, this is green. This is yellow. Now let's just make sense of this, you know, green, yellow, and the red bars. Now the green colors are the values that are quite bigger, the bigger values, then the value in between the big and the small values have yellow color, and of course the smaller value have red color. Now, you can actually be wondering, how did I do this? Now, I've, before this video, I apply what's called conditional formatting here, okay, and you can see, now when I come here and I change to, so let's say, um, laptops, you can see it's dynamically updates, and that is the amazing part. So when I come here, I choose um, iPhone, we can see everything is working dynamically. Now, let's see how did I do all this amazing, you know, coloring. Okay, so I'm going to just come to the conditional formatting. I can click on manage rules. Now, these are the rules that I specified. So let's see the green one. Double click on this. Now, in this formula, actually, we use a formula to determine which set to format, which is one of the advanced tricks in conditional formatting. Now, for every sales value that is equal to or greater than 6,000, that's going to show the formatting that we applied, which is the green. So I'm going to close this. Now, when I double click on the second one, so for every value that is greater than or equal to 3,000, it's going to show the yellow. And for every value that is less than 3,000, it's going to show the red color. So this is basically how we can use the amazing let double X lookup h tag and direct functions to create a dynamic and in cell color bar chart so i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please like comment share and subscribe to this channel because there is a lot to come thank you and have a good day bye Cheers.